Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can very quickly and easily set up your graphics card to run in SLI or Crossfire. To do this, you need a motherboard with more than one 16-pin PCI Express connector. You also need two graphics cards that are the same model. In this video, I'm using two GTX 670s with 4 gigs of video RAM. You can mix and match graphics cards from different manufacturers, like you can use one from EVGA and another one from MSI. If one card is manufacturer overclocked, both cards will default to the lowest clock speed. Also, video RAM is not additive, so if one card has 2 gigs of video RAM and the other card has 4 gigs, you're only going to get the benefit of 2 gigs of video RAM. It should be somewhat obvious, but you cannot mix cards from different models, like you cannot use a GTX 660 with a GTX 670. I chose to use the GTX 670 with my build because in terms of price per performance, it's the best out of the Nvidia high-end cards, with the GTX 660 Ti being a close second. I went with the model that has 4 gigs of video RAM because I play Skyrim with a lot of mods installed and some texture mods require textures with resolutions as high as 4096 by 4096 and 4 gigs of video RAM really helps with the texture loading. But for most people, if you want to game at 1080p on a single screen, then 2 gigs of video RAM should be fine. But if you want to play a game with a lot of mods installed or if you want to game across 3 monitors, then you're better off with 4 gig version. Now when it comes to removing plastic from graphics cards, I always forget one little small piece. That piece was on the fan of the graphics card for a long time. All you had to do is insert your graphics card into another PCI Express slot, but make sure the side of your case has room for the DVI outputs and the HDMI outputs of the graphics card. Following that, use a thumb screw to lock the graphics card into place. Next, you want to check your motherboard case for an SLI bridge. In my case, I have the ASUS Sabertooth Z77 motherboard. If you are attempting to do 3-way or 4-way SLI, it may be possible that you have a rigid bridge connector, but for most people, you'll have a flex connector. Connect the SLI bridge to your graphics card. It only goes into one slot, and it's impossible to miss. Most newer cards use an omnidirectional SLI bridge, so it doesn't matter the orientation in which you put the bridge in. Following this step, make sure to use the pan connectors from your power supply to power your graphics card. Perform cable management, and you should be ready to boot. After booting, go into your graphics card control panel, and configure SLI. You want to maximize 3D performance. Upon doing so, your computer will take time to update, and then you'll get the SLI enabled message. As for processor selection for PhysX, I would still recommend auto select. Congratulations, that's all there is to it. Now you have two or more graphics cards running in your system. If this video helped you, be sure to leave it a like rating, subscribe to my channel for more content, and I'll see you next video.